السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ ریسپیکٹڈ بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ انادر بیوٹیفل میسج فرام قرآن اینڈ دیٹ از تقوا بینگ گاڈ فیئرنگ مائی بلاوڈ نبی پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم بلاوڈ فالوورز دس از دی کوشچن آئی بین آسک ا لاٹ آف ٹائم What are the aspects of taqwa? Because we all know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in Quran, إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ Indeed, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greatest one is the one who is the most God-fearing. So this is the base of being great in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many people, they ask how to know if I am muttaqi or not. How to know if I have taqwa in myself or not? How to know what are the aspects of taqwa? I must say there is only one ayah in Quran. If you read that, if you understand that, if you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this ayah and if you improve in your life those aspects which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in that ayah, I would say you got All taqwa, alhamdulillah. You receive the aspects of taqwa. This is the ayah, Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah 177. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا وُجُوهَكُمْ قِبَلَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ Let me tell you the little background about this ayah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed the qab- uh, qibla uh, by the willing of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Baytul Maqaddis to the Ka'batullah, some sahaba, they were having little argument what will happen to uh, those prayers which we have performed towards uh, Baytul Muqaddas. Some of them said, are they wasted? The, we have prayed like one year and six or seven months, around 17 or 18 months. Are they wasted? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descended this beautiful ayah and said, do not argue, uh, do not argue what is goodness. Do not argue about taqwa. Do not argue about bir. Do not argue about obedience. The true obedience is the, when you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not obedience where your face was. Your face was towards mashriq or maghrib. لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا وُجُوهَكُمْ قِبَرَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ Allah does not have any concern about this. The true obedience, the true taqwa is whether you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. وَلَكِنَّ الْبِرَّ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ Those who have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ On the day of judgment. وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ وَالْكِتَابِ وَالْنَبِيِّنِ The book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Faith in Allah's prophets and messengers. Faith in the life after death. Faith in angels. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala concerns. Another thing, right after belief, right after aqeedah, right after faith, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, حُقُوقُ الْعِبَادِ وَآتَ الْمَالَ عَلَى حُبِّهِ ذَبِ الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى وَالْمَسَاكِينَ وَابْنَ السَّبِيلِ وَسَائِلِينَ وَفِي الرِّقَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you wealth. And you love that. You want that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spend your wealth upon needy people, your relatives, your yatama, orphans, needy, anybody who asks, anybody who's in need, go help them. This is the aspect of taqwa. Salah and zakat comes after that. وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَ الزَّكَاءُ وَالْمُوفُونَ بِعَهْدِهِ مِذَا عَاهَدُوا Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned right of the people before salah and zakat. Offer your daily prayers, give your zakat, and fulfill all of your promises. Be rightful person, be truthful person. Well, mufuna bi ahdi mida ahdu. Always fulfill your promises. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Was sabirina fil ba'sa ibadarra. If you go through any hardship, any trial, any challenge, what you have to do? Sabr. Patience. This is one of the beautiful ni'mah. Favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا These are the truthful people. أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُتَّقُونَ And these are the muttaqi people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us muttaqi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to act upon all of these aspects of taqwa. 
this is not only the aspects alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in surah ali imran some of them when you forgive somebody if uh, somebody has harmed you and you forgive them this is also a beautiful aspect of taqwa but at the end i must tell you a beautiful example mentioned by my, my very close friend and he is the mubalig of sunni dawud islami brother arif patel he gave beautiful example when you want to claim that you are god fearing person it means you are truly the one usually we say that but we do not mean it how to know he gave beautiful example let's say you know that in your area there is a robbers or thief roaming around you will sleep in the night but you will not sleep in that deep that you will not be aware what's happening you will be sleeping but at the same time you'll be a little awake if uh, by any kind of noise or voice just to make sure that you are safe and your family is safe my brother this is taqwa you are in this dunya but at the same time you are very much awake just to obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his sharia and his quran thank you so much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh